out of it. It's going to be interesting to see if, if they can get it to work correctly. We haven't seen too terrible much success, but obviously some people are doing it. No, I don't think they are. Okay, around the switch button. That one? Okay. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Joining me at the Casa Desk just now, Bom Chu Link. Raising his way through the bracket. Bumps you, how's the tournament been to you so far? What's up, guys? Here we go. Coming into the matchup here, Sheik versus Ganondorf. Uh, it's it's such an interesting matchup to watch. Obviously, we've seen Jaxus perform so well on Sheik. Getting so much damage, he already up to 50% damage without taking any. He loves to get that early lead in there, as we've seen these past few games. Just absolutely dominating the platform here. Look at that beautiful combo. Oh yeah, any game matchup. It's always my crunch you get crunched. And that is indeed what we are seeing. The crunch appears to be going in the favor of Jaxus right now, but of course it's only game one, stock one. So, is there any long-term strategies, do you think, come to for the Ganondorf pick-up here? Flame token, off the edge. Alright, so, obviously, if you're ahead in uh, percentage, as Ganondorf, you don't necessarily want to do that, but that could be a great equalizer here. And it's a, it's a great strategy, but I, I'm wondering if Jaxus is going to fall for that, of course. He's shown a great proficiency here. Staying on center stage with Ganondorf come back. Very much respecting respect that move. Yeah, absolutely. And that just that just shows you how skilled these players are at this tournament. Every one of them knows the, what the other knows. There's no real advantage being taken here. They're just trying to get in and uh, get those fake outs, get the mental game going. Massive damage now on Ganondorf, 149%. A KO could... Oh, is that going to be? That is first stop goes over Jax's with the chic mechanics is gonna make that happen Ganondorf oh nice kick gonna send him off the platform but not for enough and of course using uh, the move now only works if he can get a stalk ahead is that correct Bomb Yes. so he's going to be trying to fight this one completely straight which means Jaxus doesn't have to worry about that anymore he can chase him off the edge like that all he wants look at that just chasing him for days absolutely uh, even though he's up to 100 percent you see the confidence there he doesn't relent he's not giving up he's just going as hard as he possibly can to get as much damage done before ganondorf has that back because i'm sure Jax has been realistic with himself he's likely to die he's likely to get ko'd but that's game no a simple 2-0 didn't even lose a stock and game one goes over to Jaxus. could we see a repeat of the story any insight of that game bomb you leave? Sadly for Dan, it was 2-0 because he can't use his flame choke to try to get back once he's a stock down. It's pretty much similar to Dan, but very similar to the little, to the little map. Right. Do you think there'd be any smart changes in, in the picks here? Because we've seen some people pick and change up and make it work. You think we're going to see that here? I personally don't think Dan will be the wisest choice here, but uh, if he wants to go with it and he can play it out, he could really dominate. Okay. The thing is, Ganondorf is such a slow character, especially to play against Shin. Right. It's not a very favorable matchup if he can't connect it. Well, Jax is not having any of that today. That's absolutely right. It looks like he might be swapping up the Donkey Kong. I haven't seen that matchup myself. What are your thoughts on that matchup? Is Donkey Kong better or worse for that? Donkey Kong is a tiny bit more versatile, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna see Ganondorf. Yeah, it looks like the Ganondorf's back. So. Side so, obviously we saw early in the game uh, against uh, Big Bear, or Bro Bear, excuse me, he made the comeback using the same character, even though it looked like he was getting dominated. So we might see something like that here. Hopefully. Yeah, it's always nice to see a good match, although Jaxus looks like he's really in his element right now, just absolutely um, getting in there and making face. We'll have to see what happens now. Ganondorf gets the first hit this time, which didn't happen last time. He's slightly more aggressive, but look at that. The same kind of movements there. Tries the game and the media. Not going to work. But Ganondorf playing this. Ooh, that's a nasty trade. And Jaxus is going to put him up to 58%. 70% almost instantly again. Certainly being oh. very, very aggressive this round. Absolutely. Just, he, he's no, he knows he's ahead. So even if he gives up this game, he has another chance. So he's playing... 
with without reserve, he's not trying to be overly safe. He just wants to get this match in the bag. And surely it looks like he might be able to do that. Although Ganondorf, that response there, he got a few good hits on there. Brings him up to 62%. Obviously, Ganondorf hitting a little bit harder, I think, per hit. Oh, yeah, very much harder. Like five, for every, you have to get like at least five hits for every hit Ganondorf gets. He's just that much of a machine. Abs absolutely, and, and it looks like Ganondorf might be even out here. We don't see that same dominance. Jack Jax Jaxus has not been nearly as dominant right now as he was a few seconds ago. And of course, as I say that, he puts a pummel into Ganondorf, just setting him flying. But easy recovery, is that stop one? No, not gonna be. It looked like a huge hit, but he's too far off to one side of the platform. And then we get in here, we see the weakness of Sheik revealed, her hard time from the only anyone and anything. After she gets them out of combo percentage, which ends right about 70%, she starts to have problems. Which we're seeing right now, being down to be an up to 161, not finishing them off. Absolutely, and as we saw in the previous matchup, um, I believe it was Churro versus um, Jaxus. Uh, he had to switch up the, the characters. That is, of course, going to be a KO. Ganondorf loses a stock, but um, Jax has had to switch up characters so he could KO a little bit easier. Um, uh, yeah, Trevor's going to lose a stock. Excuse me, I was just corrected on that. Ganondorf losing the stock there. Ooh, but Sheik gets sent wide. I was corrected, but not for long, and that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Sneaky down tilt. Absolutely. If Ganondorf lands a down tilt here, of course, he could, because it KOs the other person first, does it not? If it is uh, his fire. His flame shot. Yeah, his flame shot. So, yes. it's still open. It's still an option for him. Oh, definitely. If he can get it right now, that's game for him. Absolutely, and that's and that would be devastating. Well, not devastating for Jaxus, but it definitely would put in perspective here uh, the respect he needs to show towards this, uh, all the players here. He's been slightly running over him these past few matches. Definitely would put him in his place a little bit to see uh, Trevor smash him down a little bit, wouldn't yeah. I? Also so, remember that after Ganondorf is completely invulnerable, so he has to use it pretty close to the ground, and he is completely committed if he tries to do it going on stage. Right, absolutely. He doesn't grab the ledge. Ooh, look at that. Again, we're seeing this. Ganondorf's up to 114%, Sheik's only at 78 but both have equal ability. Right. Fair game. We're not seeing the percentage is not really in the, the factor right now, because Sheik is going to have a hard time KOing. So it's going to be interesting to see. Get it? Ooh, that was a scary recovery, wasn't it? Very close. Yeah. And, uh, so that's that's special custom for Ganondorf. Made him recover. That's always nice. Ooh, Ganondorf. You could see he was thinking about it there. He was. Yeah, but it, oh, that's game. A back throw goes over, taking it to game three. That's the third one in a row. Excellent comeback by Ganondorf. That was. We said it before. You you told us the match was doable. We just hadn't seen it yet. So we're going to see Trevor making a slight comeback. I bet Jaxus did not see that one coming. Uh, I don't think anyone saw that coming. That was insane. Um, looks like, again, we see Jaxus swapping up. He's going to give up the Sheik. He's going to go with the Zero Suit for the more KO power. Again, thinking that's why he lost that one because he had not KO Ganon. He's, he's too heavy. So, Zero Suit's very similar to Ganon. She's a Sheik in many ways. In many ways. She's slightly more vertical. She still has a big problem. Yeah, we, see, we see the exact same. It would appear slightly easier. He was able to KO a little better against Shuro earlier. But as we see, same type of playstyle. He's still going very, very hard at the beginning, trying to get that percentage up and end the fight quickly. Ooh, nice kick by Ganondorf. Going to deal him up for 30%, but Ganondorf himself now up to 83%. Normally, that would be easy KO territory. What about zero? Is that even KO territory? Um, we usually see KOing territory for zero, so about one to about 120 for the I mean, it can be all over the board. If she gets her special flip in there, just like that, and nails him into the ground, he can finish off with a KO. With a, I'm sorry, for a KO. Okay. Oh, she goes flying. See, percentage, once again, exact same story we saw last time. They both have equal KO potential right now. There's no advantage really being taken by anybody. Oh, look at that! That's first stock! Again, was that not the same uh, move? But in the air, obviously. To get that, yeah. So that's going to be one stock down for each of them. 
Ganondorf in a position to make this happen now. He, we haven't seen him use his sacrificial ability yet. Could he come in clutch and make this the... It certainly could. Oh, but Zeros is trying to, oh! trying to send him up and out, but that up, but that up special is purposely made to send sideways instead of up. Absolutely beautiful combo there by Jaxus. He knows the mechanics so well. Oh, almost. That, yeah, he's, he's got to be careful that. Oh! Back there again. He's so close to death right now. This could go either way. Absolutely unbelievable. We're going to see so much coming in. Jax is obviously still very confident, but you can see the caution there. He's not nearly as aggressive as he was a moment ago, just because he doesn't want to get that back kick again and lose this match because of it. He's on a streak now. He's won two games in a row. Can he pull out number three? We'll have to see. He makes that nice recovery. Everyone at this tournament has such beautiful recoveries. I think we've seen a nice recovery from everyone here at the tournament. Oh, oh and that's game! Absolutely unbelievable. A photo finish, and indeed, that was a fairy tale story, was it not? Beautiful. So we're going to see Jaxis going through with a nice 1-2-1 uh, one, one there. Bring it 